What's up guys, long time no see, it's the figure spot, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, the March Marvel Collector Core Box, so let's dive right in. As always, show some love in the comments down below, leave a like, and let me know what you guys want to see in some future content. Alright, so we're starting off simple enough, typical Marvel Collector Core Box, sorry, let me adjust this. Um, get the name of the collector core right up here, pieces, the name of it, which is the theme of Quantumania. Um, you get all the legal things down here. Marvel, Funko, how to trash it, H+, barcode for Amazon. I get the XL as always because these shirts do shrink when you wash them. So let's bust this open. Um, as always, we get a shirt. You get a pin you get a sticker usually they're a bit more creative but what can you do and you get a little card that it shows what's on or what's the contents of the box i'll show that later and then we have our two pops okay so first we have ant-man Scott Lang, unmasked. Kind of looks like Matt Murdock. <laughs> I feel like his, yeah, it's noticeable he has a beard in the movie, but it's not like that noticeable that it's like prominent. But there's Ant Man unmasked. Um, it's just that one, just unmasked, so that's pretty cool. I guess it's instead of doing chases, they reserve them as like exclusives now. And then the next one is Cassie Lang which is pretty cool. Uh, she's not a part of the normal wave, so maybe they might make a unmasked version later. But let's open those up after. Oh, so they used to show like what the box included. They got rid of that. So now it just says the logo. And then next month's box is Gardens of the Galaxy 3. So let's go ahead and bust these two out of the box and see what they look like. Alright guys, so a bit of bad news, um, the Cassie is in great condition, Scott on the other hand is broken, um, if you don't notice, the stand is like, crooked, which I was like, whatever, so I open it out of the box, and you can see some of the stand is still stuck in his back, and I literally opened it like this, I didn't drop him, I didn't like, pull it out he literally just came out of the plastic like that so that's cool um as you can see it's supposed to like kind of peg right there and he stands i might super glue this but i could always just return it but we'll have to see what options we have but here's a close-up of the broken ant-man some pretty nice details on the armor and the face typical big eyes the beard Really clean, sharp, nice paint. Really like the paint job on this, if only it wasn't damaged, but there's Scott. And here is Cassie. She just has this little stand you pick into her foot. And she's pretty fine. Um, you can kind of, it's like a fake um transparency usually sometimes they actually do put like a mask on it but it's just her face painted in like a light purple to kind of imitate she has a visor on and then you have brows eyes helmet similar paint as ant-man it's just like a nice metallic paint nice detail she's just kind of standing there with her arm on her hip and one arm down Nice figure. So let's get a close up of the stickers, the shirt, and the pen. Alright, guys, so here is the sticker. It says Pim Van Dyne and has the little particles around a circle, foundation, super tiny font. It says Marvel, Funko. These stickers are usually like a, just a large Funko of like one of the characters, so I don't know how I really feel about logos. I guess you could like put this on your car <laughs> or something if you wanted but it's like this 
transparent sticker, so you could definitely make use of that better than just a big stinker Funko guy. So that's pretty cool. Um, next one is we have the pen of Modoc. I don't really want to open it because you can see it just fine. It's just a tiny Modoc. It's etched. Nice details. Ant Man and the Wasp on the back. And you can put these pens on jackets and stuff. I have a bunch of these. I don't really have any use for them though. So let's take a look at the shirt. Alright, so here's the shirt. Let's go ahead and open this puppy up. It's like a nice gray with the blue. Um, you have that PIM logo in the corner. Yeah. Let me lay this down, actually, so you guys can get a better look. Uh, so, let's put the camera. As you can see, there's like Kang in the background as an outline. There's Ant-Man here. Um, some rocks or something. Maybe those are particles. Oh, that might be his little discs he put on things to make them smaller and bigger. It says Ant-Man down here. There's Cassie. There's Wasp. Pim logo. Not too bad. Let me put this bad boy on. Alright guys, so we're back in selfie mode and this is how it looks. Um, it's definitely an interesting color choice. I feel like I... I don't know. I feel like it needs purple or like red, gold. Like it needs some colors. The the blue is strange. When I think of Ant Man, I don't think of blue. Well, that was my review, guys. Um, I have the shirt on right now, so it's not in the picture. But here's the contents. I want to say this was twenty thirty. I will put the price like right here, but. This is the contents. If this is up to you, if it's worth it, that's completely up to you. Um, him being broken really sucks. We'll see how super glue works. If not, I will have to return this. We'll see what they do since I've already worn the shirt and everything. But as always, I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. Subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see down below.